Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Hi again, everybody. Thanks for joining us on Celebrating Act 2. You can tell from the picture in front of you that Art Kirsch and I are with Bill Jordan, our baby boomer, embrace the boom philosopher, and he can't hide. You can't hide, Bill. You're you're one of our best <laughs> friends. See, now that's interesting, guys, because we have never met. We well, only we, met virtually. In person. That's it. Right. Only virtually, but, but yet I consider you friends. But okay. and you, we consider you to be a friend. And the interesting thing is that we have verified that we're not avatars, so that these are actually, for better or for worse, <laughs> what we look like. And Bill, John, and I are getting a little tired of the fact that you always look a lot better and younger than we are. But you are younger, aren't you? Well, yeah, I'm sixty-seven. Uh, right. Young Jedi. But getting back, getting back to our friendship, and it really has grown to be, uh, we really enjoy uh, our conversations with you. And in fact, sometimes they go on uh, the outtakes, probably even for the internet, should probably never be aired. Uh, but there are different <laughs> levels of friendships so from when we're younger and even at this age. And uh, we know that you have some really uh, interesting thoughts on this. So could you share them well, with our no, audience? I don't, know if they're interesting. I don't know if they're interesting thoughts, but maybe you guys can help me flesh some of this stuff out because there are certainly friends. I mean, I'm friends. I consider myself friends with some, for example, like some famous people. We're friends, but they're not the level of friend where you go, hey, uh, can you come over and help me move on Saturday? They're not right. that kind of friend, but they're a friend. So. Yeah. And then I, you catch yourself saying so-and-so, well, they're a trusted friend. And when I caught myself saying that, I felt a little sad going, why do I have to discern in friends which one is trusted and which one is not? Shouldn't trust go hand in hand with friendship? But there are friends I've got that I would never reveal confidential information to because right. they've proven to me by telling me a secret from someone else you know yeah uh yeah. so i know that they would be telling on me i've got well, another good i've got a great friend who you don't even have to say cone of silence and this is where partly where i was going to go i think everybody should have two or three friends or family members that you can go and meet for coffee or lunch or something and invoke the cone of silence, you remember from Get Smart days, the cone of silence, it goes no further, absolutely locked in trust with this individual and they with you, Yeah, you should have two or three of those people. But there are other people that you know that you can't do that because even though they're your friend, you can't trust them. Now, I've got one friend who's so amazing. And he's a friend, he, and we're friends on Facebook. He never likes my stuff. I don't think he even follows my stuff. We don't see eye to eye at all on politics. But I know that when we talk, and we talk regularly, if I tell him anything, I don't even have to say cone of silence because I know it's going nowhere. Mm. It's going nowhere. And that is a tremendous feeling to have that outlet. Sometimes you need to talk to somebody that's not your spouse or your child or, you know, a relative, you need to talk to somebody who can listen to you and not pass judgment and just hear you out. And I've got another friend who's in the cone of silence, and I'll talk to him about something going on in my life. He'll look at me straight across the lunch table and say, listen to yourself. You're sounding like a crazy person. <laughs> and when I step back, I realize that I am sounding like a crazy person. We need that in our lives. So isn't it sad, though? I mean, to think that you would think that by their very nature, someone who is your friend is trusted. Well, you know, something I think that um, I think that um, what you point out may be that rather than levels of friendship, uh, some of the things that you're pointing out is that we have acquaintances who are right. close. And I don't play golf, but I know that my brother-in-law plays golf. And I'm sure that a lot of people play golf with with people that uh, some might be uh, a cone of silence kind of friends, <laughs> but probably right. most of them. Or you right. couldn't count on them for the same stuff. But uh, uh, I know that I've had several friends, uh, particularly uh, after I moved out here, who are on the uh, East Coast, that uh, if either one of us needed the other one to be on the other coast, and I don't care what the economic conditions are or anything else, 
we would be there for them or they would be there for us. And I think sure. that very few people have more than one or two of those kinds of of friends. Yeah. Uh, so there, there are levels of friendship, but I think there's also this acquaintance is probably more what you were yeah. talking about. They should probably be in a different category. Yeah, but I mean, but yeah, but then, you know, it, there's no way to grade it. You know, there's no, I mean, mm -hmm. it's all just perception of things. It's, and, it, and it's a weird thing too, when you get older and I can't remember with whom it was my first, I thought this thought for the very first time was, it was probably a family member and I don't remember which one it was, but it was like, I love them, but I don't like them. Yeah. <laughs> That's a weird feeling. When it, for well, the first, when you first realize that, it 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 seems incongruent, but it's definitely possible to love someone and not like them. Sure, sure. And and look, I don't think you need names for to define the level of friendships um, or love, for that matter. Right. I think we instinctively know people. And if, if you get to know somebody well enough to call them a friend at, or an acquaintance, then you, you know them and you, you know the level of trust you have in them. You know their personality. You know what you can expect from them. Mm -hmm. And you don't push somebody to be more of a friend <laughs> than they can be. Correct. Well, than they really are. Here's and, another quote I've got for you. Trust, loyalty, respect. If you blow one of them, you blow all of them. Trust, yeah. loyalty, and respect. If you lose one, you lose them all. My, my friend that I mentioned earlier that I don't even have to say cone of silence, he and I were discussing, and, we're, and I really tried to get out of the gossip thing, but we got into talking about a former coworker of ours who we both see as a friend, but we both noticed that this friend would bad if we're around them, would badmouth other mutual friends to us. Yeah. So then you know that when they're with another mutual friend, they're probably bad mouthing you. Sure. So I commented to my friend friend. Um, I said, you know, but I I get along okay with him. I get along okay with him. And my friend said, and I'll never forget, he said, I do too. And for that I will take all the credit. <laughs> You know, one last thought here, and that is that friends come and go. And yeah. even when you haven't been in touch with a true friend, that, that real deep friend, you haven't been in touch for many years, sometimes you can pick up the phone and it's like yesterday. Right. Yep. You know who they are. You know yep. you can trust them. You can reconnect in a second. And that's, Absolutely. that's the best kind of friend. Time and old friends become more valuable the older you get. Yeah. Well, on that note, I would say, especially for us boomers, that um, embrace your friendships and embrace, embrace the, boom. the boom. There yeah. you go, guys. Live your life, forget your age, and embrace the boom. Always a pleasure, gentlemen. Thank you for having me back. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.